welcome to my home practice tutorial number 11. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go through the moon salutation. And you'll find an article on my website, www.yogamoo.ie forward slash sequences, to get the article and the download mm -hmm. illustration of all the poses from the moon salutation. The moon salutation um, is a very cooling and relaxing salutation, often practiced in the evening, um, and then the sun salutation is practiced in the morning because it's more heating. But both are really good for getting circulation and all the muscles warmed up during yeah. the practice period at any time of the day. So I'm going to run through the moon salutation um, with each pose, and I'm just explaining to tra the transitions from one to two. And then in the second round, I'm going to do it with the breath, so you can practice that one with me. So continue to breathe with the first round because I, it won't be, strictly speaking, breath by breath in the pose. I'll show you where the hips need to move, how to transition from the poses, nice and fluidly, so that you're ready then to move with the breath. Okay, so we'll get started. So for this one, you start in the center of your mat. With the feet hip distance apart. So you just come into Tatsana, hands in prayer position, into your heart, into the heart, and just centering yourself before you start moving. Now I will call the breath, but again, continue to breathe because I'll call some alignment cues as well. So on this one, you inhale and you reach the arms up high. Press into those feet now, really find your grounding. Exhale, interlace the fingers, reach the, the palms and hands up towards the ceiling. Hinge over to your right hand side, so you hinge to the right first. As you hinge, press down into that left foot there to ground you. Inhale back up to center, and then exhale, hinge to your left hand side, pressing into the right foot. Inhale back up to center, you can bring the hands to prepare position for this one, and then exhale, step the feet out wide, we're going to come into goddess pose, nice opening pose. This is an exhale. Inhale, you're still keeping your hips forward, but you're going to rotate your feet around, reach the arms out, gaze over the right hand. And that's an inhale. Exhale, you're going to come into trigonasana, so the hand comes down, the hips are still open to the side of your mat, and gazing forward. Inhale, now for this one, you need to pick up that hip around, you might need to place that foot to the side a little bit, and inhale to take it forward a foot. Now, hands are usually on the ground, my foot tightness in that hip, so I'm just bringing my hands to my chin there. And then exhale, and then we'll fold that back foot, coming into a low lunge. Inhale, you're going to take the hands to the inside of that right foot there, ground that left foot down, and take a forward fold to the inside of that right leg, really opening the one. That's an exhale. Now for the next one, it's an inhale, and you're going to come into the molasses. So you're going to Jump the feet in a little bit, hands to prayer position, nice and tall through the spine, ground down through those feet, particularly the big toe out. Exhale, open the feet wide again, taking the forward fold, nice stretch for the left inner groin there. Inhale, pick the back foot around, hips now square to the back of your mat, that right knee comes down, and reaching the arms up high. Exhale, hands come down, lift that left, right knee, and we open to a lunge. Inhale, you might need to ground that right foot down, bring the hands onto the left knee, forward fold with that left leg. Inhale, open the hips now, coming into your trigonasana. Inhale, up into, hips to the, to the front of the side of your mat now. Exhale, into the goddess pose again for the second time. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms together. Exhale, hinging over to the right side. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale to the left side, remember to press through that right foot. Inhale, back up to center. And exhale, hands down the midline to prayer position. So that is your moon salutation. So now we'll flow through it again, just using the breath. I won't really talk through positions, okay? Just the inhale and the exhale, okay? Starting in your Tadasana. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, hinge to the right. Inhale, 
arms up high, exhale, hinge to the left, inhale, arms up high, exhale, goddess pose, inhale, get the feet around, reach the arms, exhale, Trikonasana, inhale, the lips, hands to chin. Exhale, high lunge, high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the inside of that right leg, bring that left foot down. Forward fold. Inhale, Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left knee down, or right knee down, arms up. Exhale, right knee lifts. Inhale, forward fold of that left leg. Exhale, reach the right arm up high, open those hips. Inhale, Arms to shoulder height. Exhale, second goddess. Inhale, feet in, reach the arms up high. Exhale, hinge to the right. Inhale, reach the arms again. Exhale, hinge to the left. Inhale, reach the up, palm up high. Exhale, hands down in midline to prayer position. Tadasana. And close the eyes over and just feel for the cooling energy that you are creating in your moon salutation. So that's your moon salutation. If you'd like to, you can go back to the start of that breath flow and go through it a few times. Sometimes I would just do the moon salutation as my practice and nothing else because it's got a little bit of everything in it. Got all the warming for every part of the, of the body. It's a lovely flavor. Um, so, yeah, you'll find this on my website and lots of other articles and sequences to try. And um, always happy to answer questions if you want to email me at ruth at Thanks for watching.